Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a tripod review of the Manfrotto 190 Go. And I'm also going to be including the X-Pro bald head. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So in this video guys, I'm going to be doing a tripod review of the Manfrotto 190 Go, but I'm also going to be including the Manfrotto X Pro ball head because this particular tripod does not come with one inside the box. So do bear that in mind, there are a few tripod heads available for this particular tripod. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be breaking this review down into three separate parts to really work out if this very tripod is worth a spot in your camera bag. And I'm also going to be talking about a few of the unique features, such as this 90 degree column that this particular tripod offers. So without further ado, guys, let's get started. So just before I start talking about the build quality of this tripod, I just want to talk about what you get inside the tripod box. So this particular tripod does not come as a kit meaning you're going to have to buy a tripod head separately. So do bear that in mind. There are quite a few heads available. Uh, the two most popular heads are the Manfrotto X-Pro ball head, which is better for photography, but you've also got the fluid video head, which again is better for video. But you've also got a few other heads available, including the three-way head and the three-way geared head. So you can really customize this tripod depending on what you're using this tripod for. This particular tripod also does not come with a bag. Now, this is because this tripod isn't necessarily a travel tripod. It's more for studio setups. But if you are after a tripod bag, you can always purchase a tripod bag either third party or from the Manfrotto website. Unlike the Manfrotto B3 GT or the B3 Advanced, those tripods do come with bags. So do bear that in mind. If you're looking at uh, the range of tripods on the Manfrotto website, some do and some do not come with bags. So do bear that in mind. So the first thing I'm going to be looking at is the build quality of this tripod. The Manfrotto 190 Go carbon fiber tripod is the lightest and most compact tripod within the 190 range. It's a four section carbon fiber legged tripod that can extend up to 147 centimeters with its new M lock twist locks to ensure extremely fast and precise setup. The 190 Go tripod also enjoys the professional tripod status because it features the new carbon fiber tubing. The carbon fiber legs combined with the twist locks makes this tripod the most portable among the professional Manfrotto range. This tripod also has built in 90 degree column mechanism within its top casting, which stays safely stored away until needed. When it's time to use it, just simply raise it with a single finger letting the center column swing out to the horizontal position. Combined with this tripod's four legged angles, this mechanism gives you perfect stability on shooting on uneven ground. So because of the carbon fiber and metal construction, the incredibly secure 90 degree column mechanism and the new M lock twist locks, I'm going to be giving it a nine out of 10 for build quality. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the size and weight of this tripod. And I must say, because this isn't necessarily a travel tripod, it isn't very light. Even though it is a carbon fiber tripod, this overall weight weighs 1.85 kilos, and that's with the X-Pro ball head. If you have maybe another head, uh, such as the video head, it will increase it almost to two kilograms. Now again, because this isn't a travel tripod, weight isn't necessarily an issue, but height might be. And because of the 90 degree column design that this tripod has, it only has a maximum height of 159 centimeters. And that is with the main column extended. So if we go ahead, as you can see, it is almost at my eye level, which isn't very tall. But again, because of the amazing 90 degree column, 
what we need to do is press the button at the bottom and as you can see that column comes out at a 90 degree angle which is one of very few tripods that have this feature and I think only a few Manfrotto tripods have this so if you are interested in having a very tall tripod or having a very light tripod this might not be the tripod for you but if you're after this amazing 90 degree column design then this tripod might be the one for you. Now, because this isn't necessarily a travel tripod, it doesn't fold down anywhere near as small as other tripods on the market. And this is for two reasons. Firstly, Manfrotto haven't really geared this towards travel. Although this is the 190 Go, I would say the B3 uh, line, such as the B3 GT or the B3 Advance, is a lot more geared to travel. And also, these legs only go to 90 degrees, like so, instead of the full 180, such as other tripods on the market such as this Gitso Series 2, which you can see the legs go full 180 and it smalls down into this really small compact package. Now, because of that, these legs are always on this upright position, which means the minimum height is just 53 centimeters, which is actually quite tall compared to other tripods on the market. Now, because of the 90 degree column design, this tripod can't carry a lot of weight. Its maximum payload is just seven kilograms, which is almost three kilograms less than the Manfrotto B3 GT, which is of similar price. And again, this is just due to the 90 degree column. So it pops out like so, and as you can see, it folds, which again, like I was saying, only very few tripods have this. So if you really after this particular design, then this tripod could be the one for you. But if you're after a lighter, taller, and a tripod that's a lot more sturdier, then I'd probably recommend the Manfrotto B3 GT. And if you would like to watch the full review of the Manfrotto B3 GT, then I'll put the link in the description. Now, because of this tripod just isn't very tall, coming in at just 159 centimeters, it also doesn't pack down anywhere near as small as other Manfrotto tripods on the market. And also it only has a maximum payload of just seven kilograms. The only reason that I would see you wanting to buy this tripod is because of the 90 degree column design. Otherwise, I would highly recommend the Manfrotto B3 GT, which you can buy as a kit for only a little bit more than this tripod. So for that reason, I'm only going to be giving it a six out of 10 for size and weight. So last but most importantly is the price. And the Manfrotto 190 Go comes in at just 239 pounds. But this particular tripod does not come with a head. So that is something that you are going to have to purchase as well. The head that I have here is the Manfrotto X Pro ball head with the 200 LP quick release plate. And that comes in at 94 pounds. So the overall price of the tripod that I have here comes in at 333 pounds, which is only 34 pounds more than the Manfrotto B3 GT kit which again is a very similar competitor within the professional Manfrotto range. So for that reason, I'm gonna be giving it a five out of 10 for price. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that is my tripod review of the Manfrotto 190 Go with the Manfrotto X Pro ball head. But again, there are a few tripod heads available. And with a respectable score of 20 out of 30, this is a recommended tripod to have in your camera bag, especially if you're after this 90 degree column design that this tripod offers. Again guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you wanna hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. But until next time guys, keep creating.